pH of the water would basically be around six and a half at this point. Okay. With the sea salt or with that? With, uh, with the sea salt. Yeah. And so uh, I have with me Callie from the uh, United States. Hello. <laughs> and we're neighbors right now, along with uh, Alex, who's uh, her uh, boyfriend operating the camera. And this is uh, Callie. It's your second foot bath. Yeah. And so uh, you had a uh, good experience with your first one? Well, I've been really sick with some sort of bacterial something in my stomach and the first one happened, we did, I guess, the day after probably the peak of whatever this is that I've been dealing with. And, you know, initially, right afterwards, I just felt really tired. It was almost like after having a massage, you know, like that really drained feeling, which I, I guess I feel like was a release of some sort, because, you know, whenever your body goes through a big release, you're sort of drained at the end, you know, you need a lot of water and sleep. Um, but I woke up the next morning and felt really good. I said, um, like I practiced yoga in the morning and I had so much energy and I felt really, really good. And recently it's been coming back more in my stomach, but yeah, I definitely felt an effect. I don't know if it was directly from the foot bath, but I felt better than I had in a week after the night we did this, so I'm excited to try again. <laughs> and uh, why I suggest that the foot bath would have contributed to her, uh, her recovery from this uh, situation is because the uh, immune system is directly related to the cleanliness of our blood. Okay, so anything that we do to clean our blood is going to benefit our immune system. So, because our bodies are designed to defend itself. And however, uh, um, because our, our environment is fairly contaminated, it keeps our immune system somewhat always in, you know, basically in operation. And uh, probably uh, kind of like a little background energy of our, you know, um, of our foods that are consumed. Our caloric intake is dedicated just towards, you know, sustaining uh, reasonable health in a toxic environment, okay? And uh, so, also, pH, body pH. Do you, do you know your pH? No. No? See, a lot of us don't, and that's pretty common. And I would encourage people to, to simply, like, have a general idea of, of where your pH is. And... Uh, I would think it's more acidic than what salt water would be just because I know I have toxins in my body. Yeah. That yeah. would make sense to me, but I have no idea what my pH is. Okay, so this is basically uh, um, all that uh, Kelly has to, has to do. And when I first put my feet in, I feel like tingling sensation. Mm -hmm. and it, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't necessarily feel good, but it, um, it feels like uh, almost like electric vibrations in the feet. Yeah. And if you have any cuts, the salt water can hurt. <laughs> yes. And uh, also, uh, that kind of background kind of buzz that you feel in the feet yeah. will increase as you use more amperage. And so uh, I just really, I think the one point, you know, anywhere from one to two is really a nice level. And I have, you know, experienced a foot bath up to five amps. And so, but I just simply think that's pretty high and it's not like it's, you know, I don't, I don't think it's a necessarily a dangerous level, but, uh, I think if a person is just learning how to, you know, drive their their body in terms of uh, achieving balance, then let's we don't have to really floor it and go like 200 miles an hour at this point. To and do you feel more vibrations when it's higher than you do? Huh? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I wanted to to uh, to summarize then 
is that this works from the pH differential between the person and the water. Okay? And in order to, to uh, get this system up to uh, a more alkaline situation, we can take the uh, sodium bicarbonate, or as they say in Costa Rica, sodio de bicarbonato. That was good. <laughs> and a pinch of that into the water, and uh, pulling ourselves to the, that was a, that was a holler monkey in a, a <laughs> yeah, car. <it's> <laughs> and pulling the water to more alkaline situation, okay? So, uh, again, balance is achievable. Our world is toxic. We can do simple acts like ionic foot baths and, and all sorts of fun, uh, loving ways to uh, keep our bodies clean from the inside out. And, uh, and our lives are going to continue to uh, um, blossom with uh, all sorts of wondrous gifts that, you know, remain to be uncovered at, at, at this point until we, we get with it, basically, and take full responsibility for our health. So, do you have any, any last words to, uh, to say, Kelly? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's very important. I mean, there are so many toxins in our bodies, and very often we don't have the awareness of them. But I think the more cleansing things we do, the more awareness we have of them. and it becomes more and more important and crucial in our lives to have things like a foot bath um, to pull and draw the toxins out. Yeah, and I think uh, we talked about this yesterday, but we're experiencing a new level of health here in Costa Rica. And when I first got here, my body detoxed simply from ha from coming to this environment. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, well, and coconuts uh, yeah. and papayas and all of the things that grow naturally in our front and backyards is like the most magnificent thing for us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's super natural, healthy food. Everybody's on the moon cycle here and it's just, there is, there's way more focus on health and the body here, I feel like. Mm. And it's easier to attain that purity yeah. in Costa Rica. Yeah. So uh, in the spirit, spirit of uh, Pura Vida, we, uh, we, we wish you a, a pure life, and uh, we're working on that ourselves here and having lots of fun doing so. So, uh, Pura Vida. Until next time. <laughs>